Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GamerTube, and welcome back to our Five Nights at Freddy's character concept series. So in today's video, the character we're looking into is Randy the Rattlesnake. So we'll go into this character's location, gameplay mechanics, backstory, and all that good stuff as well. As always, I will just say that everything I say in these videos isn't necessarily linked to the overall universe and lore of FNAF. This is just a fun what-if scenario and a creepy story we get to tell and we hope you enjoy. And lastly, before we start today's video, do be sure to subscribe to GamerTube as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you up to date with all the videos that we post. Alrighty everyone, well, let's get to the character concept of Randy the Rattlesnake. So in our previous videos, we've been introduced to the Desert Diner Pizzeria. This was a children's entertainment restaurant that was themed around the desert and all the creatures that live there. The desert characters we've met so far have been Cory the Camel and Scott the Scorpion. Both characters were hellbent on attacking the Night Guard. In the case of Scott the Scorpion, whenever the Night Guard fell asleep, they were transported to a nightmarish version of the pizzeria. The Night Guard hopes this doesn't happen again, but when it comes to the Desert Diner Pizzeria, anything and everything strange and bizarre can happen. So now let's meet our next desert themed character. And the next character we're introducing is Randy the Rattlesnake. Randy was of course modelled after the deadly desert serpent, the Rattlesnake. Hence the name, Rattlesnakes were most famous for their rattle on their tail. Randy had his own rattle and it would work exactly like the real Rattlesnake would. Randy was also given a specific theme and costume. Randy had the personality of a cowboy slash outlaw. They weren't an evil character, but they weren't exactly the hero either. So Randy's role up on stage was that of the Maraca player. They would hold a maraca in each hand, and also use their tail as an instrument as well. Whilst up on stage with all the other band members, they would play their jolly birthday tunes. Randy was considered to be a fan favourite. All the guests were quite entertained by Randy's funny cowboy antics. They spoke in a western accent, and made many western cowboy puns as well. So overall, Randy was considered to be a great success at the Desert Diner Pizzeria. But as is the sad reality for all the other animatronics at Freddy Fazbear, this would eventually change for the worst. So before we get into Randy's incidents, let's first take a look at his other role at the pizzeria. So Randy was associated with the Desert Dessert Bar. This was a section of the pizzeria that was solely devoted to desserts. Seeing that desert and dessert were a fun play on words, the manager thought it would fit right in at the pizzeria. As we can see on the pizzeria overlay, the dessert bar is located here on the map. And once again, we have a new location opened up on our map. So the manager was correct in introducing this dessert bar to the pizzeria. The desert dessert bar was a hit. Randy would stand behind the counter as the children and other guests helped themselves to the ice cream. Considering the dry desert area the pizzeria was established in, a frozen treat would be very welcome. He would rattle off a few phrases here and there, and make all the customers smile while they ate their ice cream. Every time one of the guests would get their ice cream cone, Randy would rattle his tail. Randy's rattle had to be one of his most interesting features. All the guests would try to shake it and rattle it themselves, but Randy didn't like this very much. Randy was the only one who could shake his rattle. People kept trying, but he wouldn't let them. Some would say that Randy was quite protective of his rattle. After all, it was what made him unique. So when it comes to the mysterious incidents surrounding Randy, the biggest mystery of all was what made him so angry on that night in particular. On this specific night, what the workers found left them shocked and stunned. Unfortunately, there was no security camera footage of what happened that night. Like all the other incidents we've covered so far, what happened to Randy took place over the month that the pizzeria was being fumigated. A lot of strange activity happened in this time period, and no one knows exactly why. And once again, the mysterious intruder filmed more footage and leaked it online for all to see. Fazbear Entertainment quickly took the video down, but there was still those who saw the strange recording. Luckily, we have the MP4 files from that night, but we'll look into those later in the video. For now, let's get into what was theorized to happen on that night. So, just like all the other animatronics at the pizzeria, Randy was quite confused as to why there hasn't been any visitors for a few weeks now. All around the pizzeria was a thick green fog that just hung in the air. No laughing children, 
No jolly birthday songs, just silence. What was more concerning was the ice cream machines had stopped. For days on end, Randy tried to figure out why they weren't working, and more importantly, why there were no more visitors. As the days dragged on, Randy began to grow mad. Eventually they got so angry, they totally destroyed the ice cream machine. Randy kicked and clawed at them until they were operational no more. Without knowing it, he did a number on his body as well. The material from his hands and feet were all ripped, and he even managed to rip his favourite cowboy hat. As Randy thought back on who could have caused all of this to begin with, they remembered seeing the night guard spraying the poison all around the pizzeria. It was them. They were the reason no one was here anymore, why no one was enjoying the delicious ice cream. Randy harboured so much hatred towards the night guard. Eventually, if they ever came back, he would make them pay. So now let's look into that mysterious footage that was leaked on the internet. Now that the day had finally come that the pizzeria had reopened, this was the moment that Randy would take their revenge on the Night Guard. As we explored in the last video, the Night Guard is still suffering from those bizarre dreams and nightmares they've been having. It almost seems too real. Whenever they shut their eyes, they see a dark place unlike no other. What resides in this dark version of the pizzeria are nightmarish versions of all the characters. Hopefully, on their night shift tonight, they don't experience them again. So now let's look into the gameplay segment of the video. As always, the gameplay loop is based on the classic FNAF formula of observation and management. So Randy's starting position would always be at the Desert Dessert Bar. He would be one of the characters that starts moving straight away. The player would have to keep an eye on them through the cameras and use the motion tracker to track their movements as they get closer. Randy would be able to approach from both the left and right door. As soon as the player sees them, they would need to shut the door immediately. The player would also know that Randy is nearby by the sound of his rattle. All the player needs to do is keep vigilant and try and track his movements. But the real trouble would be when the player nods off and finds themselves in the Nightmare Realm. It's in this strange place that they'll meet the Nightmare version of Randy. The Nightmare version of Randy can be seen with sharp jagged teeth and many overgrown fangs protruding from their mouth. This version of Randy also doesn't have their eyeballs attached. All that remains is their small infrared lenses. These small lenses would be highly susceptible to light. This is where the supercharged flashlight comes into play. Since the doors don't work in the Nightmare Realm, the characters can just walk right in. When this happens, the player would need to use the supercharged flashlight to fend Randy off. The intense burst of light would fry his senses and send him away. The player needs to keep an eye on the Nightmare Randy and make sure to blind him with the flashlight, because if they don't, they'll be greeted with a classic FNAF jump scare.
so I think Randy would be another great addition to the Desert Diner Pizzeria. The inclusion of a rattlesnake only makes sense inside a desert themed restaurant, and their nightmarish version of themselves would definitely offer a good amount of jump scares. Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, yes it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. As always, let us know in the comment section down below what you thought of Randy the Rattlesnake and what you'd like to see going forward. Alrighty everyone, well to the next video, catch you later, bye.